Hi, I'm George. We're going to be taking this portrait picture over here and turning it into this 1960s style mod portrait. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Also, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And let's get to this. I'm just going to close this file down. We don't need that. And we'll start right here with this image. If you want to work along with this project, there's a download link for this portrait in the description. Let's go ahead, download that image, and you're all set. The first step is to crop into the format that we want. And for that, I'll grab the crop tool over here. And then down below, I have this set for a crop of four by six. And here's our crop window. And I'll just move that into place. And that's fine, and choose OK. Let's now check our image size. Back to our move tool, up to image, and resize image size. And let's set this at inches, and that's six by four, and that's right where I want it, so we're fine there. Okay, let's now increase this to fit screen, and that's view, fit screen. There we go. Let's now put a new layer beneath this one. First, over here where it says background, double click on that, and that will convert this to layer zero instead of a background layer. We can then add a new layer here, and just drag it underneath. We'll now convert this to a new background layer. So go up here to layer, come down to new, and background from layer. There we go. We'll be using this for our color background later on. But so we can see everything we're doing, let's just fill this with black. Got the black color and the fill. Click in here. That should then fill it with black. If I hide that, you can see there's our black background. Okay, that's all set to go. Let's now do our filter effect here on our portrait. Go up to filter, come down to filter gallery. And then here, the one you want is under sketch right here and it's torn edges. And the settings I use for this are 33 for the image balance, smoothness at 15, contrast at four. You may need to have different settings depending upon your image. Notice the smoothness is all the way to the right hand side and contrast is pretty low. If you increase your contrast like this, you can clear up some of the stuff happening in here. If I pull this down to the bottom, you'll see how we have some snow happening. So contrast can get rid of that, but it only goes so far go too far it goes opposite direction so try to find a spot where there's minimum contrast we'll come in and clean that up a bit more in one of our next steps right now 11 looks good here image balance is going to show you how dark this is or how light it is so just find a number that works well for your particular portrait and again i have mine set at 33 on this one okay there we go now we need to separate out this white background from the image but i want to keep the white in the face so we'll use the magic wand tool up here Tolerance is set at 44, but pretty much anything in here will work 32, I believe, is the default for this. Where it says contiguous, make sure you check that. That means that it has to be touching the selection for it to work. So we can select out here and get the outside selected like that without touching the white in the face. Okay, our outside is selected. We need to shrink this edge into this selection so it's out here just a little ways. And you can do that up here with the select. Come down to modify and contract. And I have mine set for... 10 pixels, choose OK. And that just moves that selection back just a little bit like that. Let's now invert the selection, select inverse, and we now have our portrait selected plus a little bit of that white background outside there. We can then go up here and click on the layer mask button right there. And there we go, that gives us a nice white outline around our image. Let's now clean up the black area in here. I'll go back to my standard move tool. On the layer, double click on the portrait side, make sure you see the light blue outline on that portrait side. Let's work on our portrait now. And then go up here to enhance, come down to lighting and brightness contrast. And this one's pretty easy. Just grab the brightness, pull it all the way to the right, and take the contrast, pull it all the way to the left. And that clears up any remaining snow that we had in that area. And choose OK. OK, so now we'll work on putting in the color. And for that, we need to have a new layer above this, a gradient layer. Go up to layer, come down to new fill layer and choose gradient. And where it says use previous layer, check that and choose okay. That then gives us a gradient layer above our image layer, but it's locked to that image layer. Where it says gradient right here, get this little gradient icon, click in there and then choose this gradient. It's an orange to yellow to orange. Choose okay and okay, and that's all set. Now we need to get this into just the white part of our portrait and not the whole thing. And for that, go up here to the blend modes and then come down to multiply. And there we go. We now have the gradient inside just the white area with the black area staying nice and black. Now I want to have stronger colors in here 
We'll just add an adjustment layer. Go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer and Levels right here. Again, check that checkbox. Choose OK. And in here, notice we have a lot of black right there. That's the black part of our image. And there's a lot of values over here. That's the color part of the gradient. So take your black point right here, this left side slider. Slide it all the way over until you get into this area here. This is the gradient part. And right in there, we can control how rich those colors are. So I think right about in here looks pretty good. About 133 on that. Close that. And the last thing we have to go is just to change our background here to that nice mod background. And for that, we'll go down to the graphics button, bottom right hand corner. In here, I have this set by type and backgrounds. And then it's about halfway down. There's the top. Scroll down about halfway. And here we go. You see these three images right there. This has the kind of nice flower mod pattern. And I'll use the purple one. Click on that. That then replaces the current background layer, which we set up previously, with this new background. Let's take a look at that. Layers. There we go. It just changes the background to this new background. And if you didn't have a background layer, it would give you a new layer named background. If you want to try different backgrounds, but you want to keep this one, it's easy to do. Just press this background, right click on that, choose Duplicate Layer, choose OK, hide that duplicate, come back down to your background, and then back to your graphics again. And let's try the blue one. Click on that. There's that blue look. If we now go back to our layers, we can now try either one of those. There's purple, there's the blue. If you want to do one more, same exact trick. Right click, Duplicate Layer, choose OK, hide that layer, back to your background, and then choose another look. We'll grab this red one, which is right there. Now, if you see a little blue triangle in the upper right-hand corner of your background layers, that means that the image has not been downloaded yet from Adobe. So you'll need to have a currently active internet connection. It will then very quickly download, like that one just downloaded for me just then. And once it's been downloaded, it's on your system to use whenever you want to in the future as well. Okay, back to our layers. We can now choose which one we want. I kind of like this one. It matches nicely, but I'll go back to that purple right there. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure you check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. Link in the description. And I'll see you next time.